the dog. Anubis. I think that's what it's supposed yeah, to be. It is. Alright, so let's see what's down here. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Look at that. I'll, I'm gonna fall to my death, too, doing that. Probably. Something bouncing around. Kangaroo Jack over here freaking out. And this is one of those games, it's like you just gotta play it so much to memorize it. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Well, at least maybe go. I can get some lives. Tadpole vaulting. Kangaroo Jack. Not even tadpoles, but whatever. I like the star's face, too, when you go to hit him. Like, oh, no. I don't even know what those are supposed to be. Planets? I don't know. That's a planet. That's a swirling vortex from CERN. <laughs> Alright, am I stuck in here now? Yep. Forever. For all eternity. They do that in Alien 3, too. Do they? They trap you and stuff? Alien 3 on the Sega Genesis. There's certain rooms, and you can, um... Walk through. Yeah, I don't know what these things are supposed They're to like be. They're like hopping turds. I don't know. Darn it! Well, darn it all to heck. Wait, I hit the C button to shoot, and he just sat there like a big dummy. Maybe I can only get over there going this way. See, and that's what I have to do. I have to like be patient and take my time. Like there, like I'll fall in that fire and die. And that fire does hurt you. Look at the snake down there. Look at that. Like, what if you saw something like that in an <laughs> Egyptian cave? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Or don't. Just don't do it. Oh. You can't jump high enough in that suit. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I mean. Like, the, the controls in here are so twitchy, you can't do anything like that. Yeah. Just no, just skip it. Don't even worry about it. To locate Oinker, travel through all the levels selected. For the selected tour in the Mazatorium. There's just so much crap everywhere, and then they're like, eh, "There's no band-aid for you." To heck with you. No band-aid. So Bubsy was made a tour guide of the Mazatorium. I'm the official tour guide of Mr. Doctor Reality's Mazatorium. You know, it's weird. It says his sidekick is Arnold, but it's his nephew, Terry, following him around. Yeah. Oh, and his niece, Terry. Terry and Terry, yeah. Terry with an I and Terry with a Y. So so the, his niece is Terry with an I, his nephew's Terry with a Y. One thing that's different now, too, is look at that. When they blow out their stuff, well, this one's not doing it. But the last few times, is uh, their sounds have been following me. Mm. They'll shoot them out instead of straight. They'll sh they were shooting out at different angles. Huh? Stealing things from all around the universe to put in his uh, mazatorium. It's a then you do that. Then you be stupid. I was like, oh, I'll just glide down. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll land on a platform. <laughs> Boom. Huh. Right into a pit. That's another thing that's irritating, is when you pull out your nerf gun, he doesn't shoot it right away. He's like, oh, pull, okay, hold on, let me aim for a little bit. Okay, poof. Yeah, there's that delay. I don't even know where I came from. This air, fine. Now can you slow down and calm down? And not fall into a big giant pit? And then you do that, then I get bumped. I'm like, okay, don't fall into a pit, jump up, boom, and I get kicked in the face. Now I gotta unlock that door. Thank, thank goodness it's right here. But oh, but I'm gonna fall into a pit. Look at that! Oh. It was like, here, I wanna jump onto this. And then it's like, no, there's a pit right below it. Hmm. So good luck. I don't know. See, like, I bet you there's a pit down there. Thank goodness. I've noticed that, too, with a lot of games. Even in Contra, it's like the first stage is always the hardest. Hmm. It's like this one just seems like the longest. I mean, maybe the space one, too. But I think the space one at least breaks it up. By doing a first-person shooter. Yeah. You go in a door and... Poof, 
So it doesn't look like, since we selected the East Wing, that we're even going to get to see the West Wing. So no president. But that's the thing. Like, did it say that in there? It, that we have to beat both of them or just one? It just says 15 glorious yeah. levels. Mighty Morph and Bobcat dangers. Huh. It says uh, that you can do the Grand Tour, but it says 15 glorious levels. 15, yeah. But it shows it's selecting the West Wing. Huh. But it doesn't show... Let me guess the East Wing is easy. We don't get the, the official ending by doing the East Wing. <laughs> Maybe. Sure. See, what I wish the game would do was like send me into an area like this, where it's like, okay, I have a little bit of a square area, but hey, I can stop. Like, it's blocked off. Like, when we were playing, um... Like, when we were playing Wild 9, you'd be like, which way do you go? Which mm -hmm. way do you go? And then you take the one path, but at least... They connect. It would end. And okay. then you go, okay, cool, now I can go back the other way. Oh, yeah. This one, it's like, which way do you go? I don't know. It never ends. Like, okay, let's go to the left. And it just keeps going and going and going. It's like, man. It's like, that's almost how you have to play the game. Like, you just have to go like this. La la la. Ha la la la. Da da da. La 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 la. Just bounce everywhere. And just hope that you make it out. Basically, that's what it seems like. Okay, arrow says up. So we'll go up then. Or I'll die. From having an enemy's head touch my feet. Yeah. The bottom of my feet, too. So these are the space pirates from the science fiction TV show that was sto stolen by the Wampum. I guess they were Wamped into reality. Hmm. Look at this. Look how high this level goes. Like, I'm just keep going up and up and up and up and up. Like the Contra Waterfall. At least that had an end. It's like, the game is so doggone long, long it makes me want to start rushing. But it's like, you can't do that, otherwise you'll die. So I can't really be over here. She can't even see him. He's hiding behind a friggin' pillar. I was gonna go in there, <laughs> but I forgot, like... I'm low on health. Mm. Now we're in. a little low. Like, this is just getting lost garbage. I hate this. Would you say that we're lost in space? Yeah. So see, that arrow says go to the left. Huh. That arrow says go to the left. To the left, to the left, everything you want. Now, somebody's the down here left. jumping around, so I was going to say there's got to be a platform. Woo! I like marbles as a element, but these marbles don't act like marbles like they do in Toy Story. In Toy Story, they actually fall, they bounce around, they make little knocking noises, they hit the t wood yeah. floors and stuff. But this, they just sort of float around. They don't really act like marbles. Oh, that's what I was supposed to do, remember? No, uh, of course. These faces really remind me of something else. Like, clay fighters or whatever. <laughs> I didn't want to go back in there. Go to no, Jamaica, what it's man. Doing. It can go everywhere. Oh, back again. It goes full circle. Darn it. Alright, now where? Don't follow the arrows. Okay. Okay, I'll just follow. I'll do, I'll do that then. I'll follow the arrows. Now what was that? The heck, it just dropped through all the floors and hit you. What a freaking glitch, it's up there. So yeah, this is the beginning of the game. The very beginning. Like this level of the game? Or? Yeah, like... It never threw me anywhere different. And yeah, you're still in the same zone. You're not really progressing anywhere. Just moving all around. 
and it just says go up. And then at one point I saw some arrows pointing to the left. And then I went in a door, because usually that's what it does. It says go one way, and then hey, guess what? There's a doorway over here. And it usually takes you out. And then I will go in the doorway, and then it sends me into a first-person shooter. And then it just kicks me right back. See, like, I'm worried now. Like, do I go through that door? I've never been through this door. I don't know. Back to the beginning. When I pushed the wrong button. You're gonna have to try to get the band-aids when you see them. Is that what those are? Because I can't get them. I I'll, saw them. I've been collecting them. I just had no idea that those were band-aids. It's like, oh, we at the end? At the end? No. Not even flies. close. Just not even close. Flies. It's like they make it seem like it is. We're just teasing. I'll just teasing. April Fools. All right, you want to do this one? I guess. And then I'll diff it up. <clears throat> then I'll play the nephew. I'll play Terry. Good old Terry. Terry Dactyl. Yeah, like I said, I definitely love the controls of the first game a lot more. Like, they weren't... It's almost like some people say, oh, the controls are too tight. The control... Like, oh, the game has nice, good, solid, tight controls. I feel like the controls are too tight. Like, they're all wound up. And it needs to be a little bit more loose. Like, jump and flow and nice. And it's like, eh, boom! And it just slams you down. Yeah. It's like it's double gravity or something. I think that was a timpani drum or something. See, I, I, I like little areas like this. It's like, what's down here? And then it's just blocked off. It's like, okay, here's some stuff. Now move onward. Yeah. But it's like they don't do that. It's yeah. like they just keep throwing you. Alright, this is annoying. Is this like a trap? Admiral Akbar, say it's not so. I don't understand how to get out. I bet you that's what you have to do. Run into the sides. Maybe. Oh. Like that. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be doing much. No, it's probably something I haven't discovered yet. Let me guess. This is something where it's like, oh, whoopsie daisies. Now we just gotta wait for the time to run out. Oh, thank goodness. If you run into... There we go. Run into that... Fast enough. Oh, thanks. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, bam! That's what I mean. In the freaking it's like, face. It's like Sonic. They want you to go fast, but it's like, no, guess what? We're going to put something in front of you. Then what's the point of going fast? Oh, I did it again. I didn't realize it was in the same spot. Yeah, like I was saying, it's a game where it's like, go fast, but you can't. You have to go and take your time and... Explore and look around and fool around and goof around and so once you go through here then. Oh what the heck is that thing doing here now? Sandwich just randomly floating through. It floated through the wall too. There's some cards. There we go. Fall. Oh a fall damage. I'm so used to like landing on stuff and not being hurt by it. This is the first time I had fall damage in a long time. Yeah, like I said, it's like these stages are just complete chaos. It's, it's like I tried to jump up and hit him, and I ended up hitting myself into him. Bob's Burgers. You know, the <laughs> McDonald's game. Uh, Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Yeah. So that's what Mick and Mac Global Gladiators kind of reminded me of, except I don't think their stages are as huge and epic as this one. Oh, you want a big open world game? Play Bubsy 2. Wow. Oh, thank goodness. It's 
Uh, exactly. Who wrote this stuff? Sound like he was gonna say something. I was like, who wrote this stuff? <laughs> so we got the first person shooter. First person shooter. So we got the shoot 'em up, and then ham a lot. Ham a lot. Then we got like the boss MS door. City. I'm really hoping that it's just the east wing. We don't have to go through the the great Goatsby. Great Goatsby. I thought those were stuff that you could grab. I didn't know they were butterflies right off the bat. So I'm going to kind of stay up top, turn around, shoot him, just to see what's going on. Alright, we'll go in here. He'll kick me out somewhere. So, you know, just do this, right? <laughs> ha. So no, it takes you right back where you came from. So, you know, it'll take you on to the next level. Well, that's different. It's like it just keeps throwing you in random, really random spots. Box. What the heck? Now what is this? What? Did we discover something? It's like, no, we broke the entire universe. He's walking upside down on the balloon. Now I'm almost dead. Now I need a band-aid. Well, at least I got a checkpoint. And there's some cards. But now I gotta be careful not to touch anything. I won't touch anything. Earlier we mentioned it. Uh -oh. oh, I'm dead. Uh -oh. I'm gonna die now because there's a bug flying around all willy-nilly over here. And I can't move up <laughs> to go into in a cave because it's in the way. You bump your head on a bug. It's a pesky bug. Every time I'm driving, they just crack the windshield and make my car spin out of control. Those little mosquitoes. Fine, I guess I'll just keep trying to progress to the right the entire time. See, now they're shooting, look at that, now they're shooting them up. Band-Aid, oh, shnikes. I mean, I, I'm already good on health. Up. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like a huge, gigantic maze. The thing is, too, is that um, the ending thing, it's probably like somewhere right in here. Look at that. Friggin' shoot. It's like, oh yeah, it's sitting right in here. here. Like, I, I have no, absolutely no idea where the heck to even go. No color. It's like, it's probably that garbage where it's like, oh yeah, duh, you go through one thing and then you turn around and go in it again. Probably. So come through here, it kicks me out of here. Like, we didn't really go through this, did we? I want to see what the heck is over here. I thought I saw, like, a checkpoint. Because that's the one where we went back in. We missed a lot of this. Now, now I can hit that. You hit the propellers now. Can't touch the propeller. There, at least now I'll start off right here. You got the checkpoint? Yeah. Go crazy. Yeah, the design and look of the game I think is really, really cool. But it's like it's, it's like a big, gigantic, huge maze. Yeah. Oh, thank oh, goodness. Wow. Yeah, I really hate... Well, I've mentioned it before. I hate mazy games. Anything that's like a big, giant labyrinth or a maze. <clears throat> Alright, time to go into Hamelot. Hamelot! At least I think, I hope... With this one, it's a little bit... Look at that. What is he laughing at? Richard the Swinehearted. I was like, he can stand on the lamppost, but I can't. The lamppost should have been in Sparrow Oom. Look at all this. Now look, now I gotta go down. What's that? That's the sewer. See, it's a drain pipe. See, like, the stages, I think, are really cool looking. Like, they're all different, and they all have their unique look to it, but it's like... They're just so long now, and just huge, epic, big, giant worlds. Like, what the heck? And now we got these. Oh, jeez. So shut the fire off? No, it creates spikes. 
I knew it created the spikes, but then I saw the fire, and I was like, what the heck, does it shut that off? But apparently not. Oh. There's just so many enemies, too. And we're only on the second floor. Third floor is gonna get worse. O M S G. See now it's just kicking me all over the place. See, I hate that. Like in the first game, and when you watch, when you walked into a door, in the very first Bubsy game, it would either take you to a bonus level, but you could walk into a door and it would take you to one door, and they would go back and forth. Yeah. They didn't just kick you all over the place willy nilly. Now look at now I'm back in here. Fine. Just rush forward. That's what I'm gonna do. Die from the spike. I'll watch your language, Bubsy. <laughs> Look at all that. Like, what the heck? It reminds me of a dream I had. So I'm supposed to do this, then. Let me guess, I fall through that one. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see the bee. Look at that. What? That's a I it's didn't a even well. know it was a well there. <laughs> it looks like just a pile of bricks. That's very poorly designed. It doesn't look like a well at all. Like, I just feel like doing something like Sonic, where it's like, jeez, just go. Look at this. Look how nuts this got. It's like, just jump and then fly. Thank goodness. Holy cow. Hey, look at that. Wow. Like, at least that didn't seem like it was huge open world. It's like more like go left to right. Yeah, a little more linear. Boss door open. Alright, here we go. Boss door. It's like something from Star Trek. Alright. Hopefully they don't take an hour to jump on and kill. Pig trouble in Little China. <laughs> nice. All right, it's all you, bro. So that's all. Fa Look at that. Garbage. I just don't like the amount of hits that these things take. Yeah. Oh man, they're fast. Just like you just gotta be in the right place at the right time. Wow, I got the mummy guy. <laughs> that's what it sounded like. Like puking its guts out. That's what's hitting you, is its guts. Solution might be to hang out in one spot and get all of them on one side at a time. That's why I kind of like the... Oh. Oh. Thank goodness. I knew it, because one more hit and I was going to die. And I only had one minute left. Third floor. Are we go with the third floor now. Good thing nothing Holy can stop. Holy cow, look at this. Wow, MC Escher. Jeez. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go back to the other one. Everything's like dilapidated, isn't it? Oh, it just looks funny. Oh, it's just weird animation. It's just like everything is all floppy. It's We're like in the hard. labyrinth now. Yeah. The it just labyrinth. looks like everything's like more falling apart. So the, we got pirate. That's it, just the and two. That. And then we oh, you gotta go, gotta go up. up. Yeah. Of course. And those three. This looks different. I'll do it out of order, I guess. Why not? Let's do the pirate one. Now it's going to be even worse. Ten times worse. Mars needs bobcats. Alright, I'm just going to try to follow the arrows. Follow your nose! Go to the right. See, it's that, that stuff I hate. Getting hit from things that are off screen. Yeah. All I right. always time, try to zip to them and shoot them, but I end up zipping exactly to where they're at, what, and I can't shoot them from inside or on top of the character. Thank goodness. All right, Thank so goodness. I went to the right where you wanted me to go, and there's nothing. Maybe it's go down right. Go down right. Awesome. Look at that. Can't get down to shoot him, so. Down, okay. 
it's like they know, like, okay, these stages are going to be big, so we got to put arrows for you to follow. But then what do they do? They hide the arrows sporadically throughout these big, giant stages. So it's like, good luck finding the arrows. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a green there. arrow. Wow. So this is where it wants me to go. You failed the city. It's a green arrow. So now you're going to have to look for a um, band-aid. There might be one up top. Usually they're up top. Might not be one this time. There's one. Where? Oh, shoot. I was looking down. Da -da 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 -da. Did it just show me the end right there? Might have. Behind the wall. So I'm gonna do this. I bet you it's behind a wall. Oh, thank goodness. That was quick. That was nice. That was really nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow the follow follow the arrows. The yellow brick nose. All right, I'm gonna do the hard ones first. Jeez. Well, actually, yeah, that'll be a hard one too. Cause good luck. There's no arrows telling me where to go. Wild boar yonder. Hmm. Oh, checkpoint. What the heck are those? Death. That's what that is. Death. Death flying around. Swimming. Swimming through the air. Looks like a scuba diver. That's the th weird thing. It's like, I can't see. Look, is that a frog? I don't... Alright, let's see what's in here. Where are you going to kick me off to? Okay, we'll go back in then. That's where the end was last time. Wow, it actually, like, a door that sends me back and forth between themselves and just doesn't kick me all, wow, all over the place. No, do, 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 do. Oh, for crying out loud. If that's what's going to kill me is bumping into tiny little... Oh, you, you bonked your head on a, a satellite. Those pterodactyls that you never get to see because we kill them too fast always remind me of dinosaurs. Oh, hey! thank goodness. Wow. It's like the Korean flag. All right, so we got this section covered. Then we're gonna see Jareth walking around. Hate that stage. Here we go. Ah, uh, that cat's wearing gloves. A tomb with a view. Who wrote this stuff? Look, look at all that. Just a bunch of pterodactyls all over. That's one nice. thing I do like that they brought in from the original Bubsy, the first Bubsy game, is that you kill them, they stay dead. Yeah. That's one thing, too, that I always thought was weird. It's like, okay, we had the first Bubsy game. Here's the second one. Not a single woolly. Yeah. Well, I guess there's no aliens. Even though he stole things from all of Earth's history. I guess it wasn't part of Earth's history. This is a completely different game. Yep. Hey, an arrow! It's the purple arrow. It's the purple arrow. Oh, for fluffing out loud. I almost had 30 lives. Bye-bye. Oh. Look at that! That's what I mean. Like I have a good controller, and even with a good controller, you're down. You push down. He's like, I'm gonna run instead. I wonder if the uh, game level can set the sensitivity to the left and right. Kick me even farther. Just keep kicking me back, please. Usually, like that's what I would have expected it to do. Yeah. Just keep kicking me farther and farther back. Oh, there we go, that's back to where we were. Thank goodness. This was that. Thank goodness for Chef I feel Indeed. like, oh, you stood in between them. I'm gonna shoot lightning out at you. <laughs> no, no, those are angels. It just keeps going down and down. Go right. and down and down and down and down. Down, 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 down to the very center of the earth. 
past the center of the earth and up on the other side. Try not. <sighs> There's so much junk flying everywhere. What the heck hit you? The stupid mummies. They keep throwing crap. <laughs> oh, it's chucking lightning bolts. I don't even know what that stuff is. A tomb with a view. Oh, an arrow! And an arrow pointing up? Say boom, 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 throws me up into enemies that are just hit, hidden. <sighs> it's ridiculous. That's like, one thing I noticed to too. That's one thing I noticed too. If you glide and you come to a landing as you're gliding, he'll go boom and he'll just take off running. Huh. If you're gliding and you land uh -huh. on a glide. That's weird. Maybe that did it. T-shirt. Life. There you go. You got it. I think you got it. Yep. And a band-aid. Oh, can... band-aid. Okay, got it. Now can I go back down? Now is that Still door open? No, no, guy. no, no. It's a big joke. What's in there? Back to the beginning. Back to oh, the thank goodness. All right, so we got Hamel. Oh, whatever. We can do this one, I guess. It don't <laughs> matter. I chose for you. Surely you joust. I don't even know why I laughed at that. Sticks me right in the middle of everything. Middle of the stick. Now I gotta go backwards, right? Look, holy cow. What the heck? Now we're in the tunnels. This reminds me of the being in the tunnels from the first game. Huh. Up, 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 up. Or down. What kind of cheat code that an idiot puts in a video game? Good old up, up, down, down. Whoop, 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 whoop! <laughs> right in the spikes. So the spike kills you once. It doesn't even just do damage. It's, nope, you're dead. One hit, one kill. Don't jump on the spikes. Little spiky duties. I don't even know if I was what went in there. That doorway. I don't know. There's like cards and stuff over here. Whoop! Yeah, I don't know if you could magically go up this section somehow. Oh. There you go. Uh -huh. What the heck it just happened? I'm using that. The bomb? Yeah. Oh, wow. It turned them all into marbles. It's crazy. What? I don't want to start using it too much. Oh! oh, that was a spike. It's like, oh, no, it's pointier than the rest. All right. The other ones ended fairly quickly. Now I want this one to end fairly quickly. Been here. All right. Now I want to go up. And every time I start progressing, and I think I'm doing good, I end up bumping into a spike. Yeah. We got one more. That was lucky. Yeah. I thought for a fact there was going to be like a spike. And now I'm almost dead, but... At least I got a checkpoint right in this area. And now I gotta memorize, nope, there's nothing down. So let's go up. Okay, so I'm at the end and it's not over here. So that means it's somewhere dinking around over here in the middle. So now I'm kind of stuck in here, so I gotta go all the way back. Yep. And then there's little secret holes mm -hmm. that you'll fall through. A hidden butterfly. Hidden in the wall. Been my butterfly. Been my butterfly. Alright, so now I know not to go all the way to the right, because that's not where the ending is. Gotta watch out for the spot. There it is. Jeez. Finery. Let's see if I can collect them all. They're all going up my behind. Out oh, my shirt. 
And then after this, West Wing. West Wing. <laughs> I hope not. All right. So it looks I've like had enough. Uh, looks like all we have now is this, which is gonna take, of course, forever. And then the boss battle. Two life shrew, huh? Must be white rappers. Two live crew. Yeah. Dispense sharks here. Holy crap. It's Dang like it. that like that's the crap that ticks me off. I almost got that. Just like oh, bam. Is this game over yet? No. No. That's why this game is terrible. The writer's strike. I was going to say, if you have an X... Oh, an arrow! Holy cow, an arrow! A beast still my heart! <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. I do declare. Well, at least I got the checkpoint. Maybe I'll put a different card in. Now what? Now I'm at the top? I'm at the end? You're at the top of the world, man. Because that thing said go up. Arrow said go up. Okay, fine. Now I'm all the way at the top. Don't look like no beginner I ever saw. Now I'm all the way at the bottom. So maybe I am supposed to go on that thing then. Okay, so now I gotta work my way all the way back over there. There's a thing up there. Joe Camel over here. Joe Kangaroo. Alright, so it wants me to work my way all the way up. And then it wants me to go in that thing. Okay. Mm. Right into sharps. the sharps. Darn it. I kind of want to start saving these for every time I see. Look at that. Go. Just following me. There's a ba flying through the air. But I jumped on it. Why did it hurt me? I jumped on it and he went into his attack animation and then he came out of it all hurt. Oh, this time he got beat up. Yeah. Oh, good. Thank goodness. Now it should just be the boss fight. Hopefully. Alright, so this should be the boss door. See what happens. Now, I do believe I have to fight the regular things like I've been doing, and then it cuts into the boss. Oh! I can't. Look at that, it hurt me when that happened. So he. Oh, you stupid! I saw that too. At least he has like it seems like an easy pattern. Yeah. You bump on his head, he and then he'll jump in the air. I don't even know how many times I've been Oof, hitting him. Jumped into one. Ah, shoot. Twice at least. One, two, three. What? Why did I fall he through? Fell right him? through him. Pull the Sonic the Hedgehog. Exactly. Classic Sonic glitch. Maybe it expanded and enveloped you. Oh, you got hit right off. Oh, you got hit again. You got hit again. So I have no bombs. Two face on the stomach. I should start counting. Like that. When he shoots that crap, he shoots it up, and every once in a while it'll hit me. Hmm. Huh. See, that hurt me when he jumped. One, two, three. One, two. Careful. Oh! Oh, yeah, I can jump on those. Oh. I timed that one wrong. I'm gonna lose all my lives on this guy. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Oh, he. There's a delay! Remember how I said when he jumps? Yeah. He has to crouch first. Like, I'm gonna jump. 
And he fell through him. Because I see it coming, I land, and I'm like, jump! And he's like, oh, what? You mean, oh, oh, jump! Don't even bother trying to hit him a third time. That's when he gets you. Now you're out of sync. When I jumped on, on this round, I hit him twice, and on the second hit, he shot that thing out at me and got me when I hit him in the head. Mm. That's what threw it off. Cause I, like he hit me right away, mm. and now he'll shoot it up. Like what? What hit me there? Why did that hit me? I wonder if those things in the background have been hitting me. That. You think the door trap doors opening up are hitting you? I wonder if the trap door opened up and it made me fall through them. Huh. Now it's just, no, you're falling through them. Duh. Duh, don't you get it? No, I don't get it. Not when you cheat like that. Oh, aim for his brisket. There, look at it. Warranty. It's already hitting me. It's already. I'm already hurting because of that crap. There's like something a, happening now where when I jump into him and it hurts me right away. Yeah, it's like a one hit, one kill, it seems like. But let me guess, there are continues in here, but you got to collect them. I don't see anything about the final boss. Surprised I did that. Now I'm gonna die. Holy smoke in a hand basket! Wow. Whoa. No, wait, oh, I better wait. Nope. Fake. Fake ending. <laughs> Fake ending. Those weren't his real legs, I didn't even think. Oinker has been defeated. Okay. So it's her and laughs at him. Is this the real ending, though? Probably not. I got the bad ending. <laughs> so Oinker's in jail. Everyone's bouncing around. There's Terry and Terry up there watching. Yeah. There's Arnie. Isn't that his name? Arnie the Armadillo? Uh, yeah. Ar Arnie, Arnold, whatever. Arnie. Apparently he's his sidekick. That's just, he, thanks for showing up. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's supposed to be the sidekick in the cartoon. Yeah. And then even in there, it's like his sidekick, Arnie. He just doesn't even bother doing anything. Now I'm confused. Do I hit a button or what? Arnold, yeah. His sidekick, Arnold, is now taking his... Yeah. There you go. Duh. Oh, you know what? That's why. That's why. All over again. Took us three hours. Over three hours to do that side. That was the easy side, right? Apparently that was the easy side. So now we got to do the West Wing. All right, that was Bubsy 2 on the good old Sega Genesis. What did you think of it? It was, it was, you know, it was still Bubsy. It had some annoying controls. I yeah. feel like the first one was probably better. Yeah, I definitely liked the first game over this one. The very first Bubsy game, I feel, definitely beat this one. I mean, literally, in order to get the best game ending, you have to go through all three stages. I don't even know if there if there is any alternate endings, but like, I can't <laughs> imagine any ending that would be... You know, like this, this, this ending would be be so far better than the other ending that it was worth going through the other two stages. I don't know. I would just rather do like one of them. Yeah. Now I heard the reason why we did the grand tour was because I heard that the real official ending is you have to do the grand tour. If we mm -hmm. pick like East Wing or West Wing and just do floor one and go through and beat it. Apparently that's the bad ending. Like, it'll just end and it's something, whatever, and you know, okay, I gotta do them all to get the good ending. Yeah. And that's what we wanted to do, was get the good official ending to see how much of a pain in the butt it was gonna be. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. This game could have been really, really good. The stages looked great. You're in Egypt. 
and then you're in like what Camelot type area, yeah. and you're doing like a a shoot 'em up type thing, you know. And in the space area, you're in space, you know, the gravity. You go through the doors, and now you're doing a shoot 'em up game. Yeah. And like I said, the enemies in here, like they had tons of enemies. It's true. Tons of I enemies. I like that. All sorts of different enemies. Lots it of was enemies, lots of animations. Yeah, enemies, animations. It was colorful. Yeah. The biggest downfall with me, the controls. It felt like they were too tight and wound up. You start running, and he's like, yeah. just freaking out and falling into pits, bumping into enemies. Except for the jump. Yeah, the jump. Very animated, but a lot of build up. And there's a problem I noticed with the jump. When you jump, he goes into a little crouch and then will jump. Yeah. And sometimes it'll screw it up. I think we had that problem in the first one, too. But I don't recall. So my biggest issue is, like I was saying, the controls being really wound up. Another thing is the enemies coming off the screen. It's like, okay, I think I'm fine. Bam! Something comes flying in from the side and hits you and you're dead. Yeah. Three hits, you're, you die, I think, after three. Hmm. It know, is nice that they do. Well, go ahead. No, well, you know something I noticed about the storyline? It's like, great story, lots of complex stuff in it. I'm sure if I read the comic book in there, it would justify everything. I'm not sure which came first, the game, which makes like pretty much no sense, or the comic book, which justifies it. Like, Did they come up with a comic book and then made a game that doesn't seem to make any sense unless you read the comic book, or did they make a game that didn't make any sense and then create a comic book to try to explain it? I don't know. But at the very end, you realize... They never actually sh end up shutting down the wampum yeah. or anything like that that supposedly took all of these things throughout history and brought them... In. You, you would think that there would be a scene or something like that where they deactivate it and all these things go back to where they're supposed to be. Science fiction returns to television, objects from history return to the past, yeah. stuff like that. You would think that this they would have something like that in there, but then again, they didn't really incorporate the storyline into the game. They just sort of had the characters there. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, what you were talking about, the comics. In the very first Bubsy game, in the manual, they have a comic. And that's yeah. what I think they did. They incorporated, they wrote the comic to kind of go along with the game. Yeah. And I think it's awesome. Like, that's the one thing about Bubsy that I love is there's a comic book and there's all these crazy cartoony stories. It's like you're playing a cartoon. Mm -hmm. It has its own lore its own universe yeah. like the mcu you know marvel universe dc yeah. universe it's like it has its own universe and it has so many cr creative characters you know bubsy and then you got his sidekick his Damn. sidekick mm -hmm. who never even appears in the game unless he's like in a car yeah and then his um nephews terry and terry yeah and it's cool like I love how they have the second player, and you can be the second player or whatever, and the second player is basically invincible. He just helps. Yeah. It's like, that adds, it helps that out a lot. That seemed like the sidekick. His cousin Terry. Yeah, exactly. It should have been Arnie, is what it should have been. Yeah. Arnold the Armadillo. Yeah, it should have been, in theory. But like I said, this game could have been really great. I mean, the story that they have, the comic book, the amount of characters. I mean, just like, look at the manual. Super colorful, really in-depth. And then it's just stupid, quirky stuff in the game that ruins it. Hmm. My, like I said, the biggest thing for me was like the controls getting hit from stuff off screen. Off screen. But then doing the grand tour and having it last as long as it did. Hmm. The repetitiveness of the levels. Going through stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage five. Oh, thank goodness we're done. Never nope. ends. On to the second floor now. And all they did was just kind of switch up the rooms. It would have been great. They could have done that and got away with it. It would have been a little bit better if they would have had a password system or a safe state. It would have been great. Like a battery in there. And it's like, okay, cool, we got through the first floor. Save it now. Yeah. And you can't tell me that they can't do a password because all oh, it requires lots of letters. Every, <laughs> like, how many other games do that where it's like tons and tons of letters? Zero, Zero tolerance. tolerance does that. Battlefield, or what is it called? Battleship? Battleship does it. Yeah, Zero Tolerance, Battleship. They all have long-winded passwords. You could have easily, they could have easily done that with this one. But nope, do it all in one big marathon, just one big shot. But otherwise, like I said, I think it's a pretty good game if you get rid of all that garbage. Make the controls a lot better and don't have it be so long-winded. But otherwise, I think it could have been a great game. Yeah, I mean the gameplay was great. The, um, I you know I think it was a it was pretty well played. I didn't really play too much of it. 
I kind of stank at what I did play at, but you know, I was I felt like what I did play of it was it was n not bad. It just was like like it's like a good speech that just goes on forever. It's yeah. long winded and it kind of you know pulls the wind out of it. And to be honest, one thing I really wish I would have done is sat here and read the manual before we played the game. Mm -hmm. So I would have known the story and known the characters. I think it would have been a little bit more fun. Yeah, at a least. more entertaining get into the game a little bit better. Because it's like there's so much stuff in here, like sound and music, and, and there's like all this stuff. Play for points or play for time? Two-player feisty, trip travel advisories for the tour. <laughs> and there's like all sorts of stuff in here. It's awesome. There's like the storyline where Bubsy's apparently a tour guide and he's breaking in before the uh, grand opening and stuff like that. So, all right. Now, as far as the price goes, loose cart only will run you about eight bucks. Getting it complete will run you about twelve dollars. Hmm. So really not that big of a gap. No. For 8 to 12. I would almost think it'd be worth it more than to get it complete if that's going to be the case. Yeah. But anyway, do you think that the gameplay... So we're going to say the heck with it. 12 bucks because it includes the manual and mm -hmm. all that story, too, that comes with it. Yeah. So do you think... So this will be the first, not just the gameplay, but do you think that the game with the storyline and the game is worth... 12 bucks. Well, here's how I have to look at it because we just played it, you know, trying to hurry up and get to the end. Will it ever end? You yeah. know, we have to sit here for three hours. There's actually a lot of room in this game to be able to explore around a little bit, which exactly. is kind of neat. Yeah. But that's the neat thing about playing a game by yourself without anybody watching you. Um, playing yep. this game is, it's, yeah, uh, for, for trying to cha challenge ourselves to complete the game, that's. In one sitting, in basically one sitting. sitting down and just marathoning yeah. the sucker. Yeah. Until we beat it. Yeah. Um, so, with that in mind, I think it does have some replay value. I think in reality, I would play like level one, and then I would come back tomorrow and play level two, and then come back tomorrow and play level three. You know, and then, uh, or something like that. Spread it out a little bit. And then by the time I'm like really good at this, like I, I would have played through the other level several times to know that, wow, this has changed. This is over here. That's over there. And I would have the place a little bit more memorized. Then I can say, all right, now I'm going to challenge myself. Start from the beginning and go through all of it. And I'm just going to be sitting here and chugging Mountain Dew and eating brownies or whatever and then just tackling this game. Um, that's, um, I think that that would be the ideal way to play this game. Yeah. And with that in mind, I think, yeah, it's definitely worth 12 bucks. Yeah, because we mentioned that with Contra. Yeah. Contra on the NES was a difficult game, game if you're not familiar with it. So what do you do? The best way of playing it is sit down, play it for a little bit, get used to it, you die, shut it off. Mm. Come back later on, you play it for a little bit, you play it until you get tired of it, you shut it off. And you just keep coming back to it until you get better and better, until you master the sucker. Yeah. And that's how this game should be played, too. You put it in, you play it for a little bit, you get used to it, you get used to the design. It's meant to be, pl I feel like it's meant to be played that way. Mm -hmm. You play it until you get sick of it, you shut it off, and then you always come back to it again. Yeah. And if you play it like that, I think it's definitely worth the $12. Yeah. yeah I mean, you got a great, a funny story, a yeah. comic book. Uh-huh. You know, Especially complete. Yeah. It, yeah, complete for twelve bucks. Yeah, that's amazing. And it is Bubsy continuing like exactly. I like it. It's a character. To me yeah. it's a mask. You got a franchise you're buying into, you're get dwelling into the world of Bubsy. Now, as far as the amount of time it takes to beat, it's one of those games kinda of like Mario. You can sit there and go on the first stage and probably rush through it, hurry up and be done with it in five, ten mm -hmm. minutes. Do it like what we did. It took us about three hours to beat. So if you take your time and you're not the best Bubsy player, it will probably take you a while. Yeah. But like I said, it's kind of like Contra. It's one of those games you play it for a little bit, whatever. But I think the average time it would take to beat this game can range from like five minutes to probably an hour and a half. I mean, I don't know if you sped run the Grand Tour, how long that would take. Maybe an hour Maybe 40 minutes. Probably 40 minutes if you knew exactly where to go because you could just... So it's probably like a 40-minute game if you're a, you know, a speedrunner at Bubsy. Yeah. And that brings me on to another thing that I was kind of disappointed with. 
I'm used to things being, I liked Bubsy when it was linear. And you mm-hmm. could go up a little bit or go down a little bit, but mostly it was go left to right in mm-hmm. the first Bubsy game. And this one, it's like you're in a big gigantic square, and the ending could be anywhere, and you're just all over. It does help when you follow the arrows, but yeah. then again, good luck finding the arrows. Yeah. You know, if you're going to spend 12 bucks on it complete and play it that way, you will definitely get your money's worth out of it by the time you beat the sucker. Yeah. But other than that, I thought it was an okay game. It definitely could have been a lot better. Mm-hmm. It's weird saying that it's an okay game, but it's still worth 12 bucks. <laughs> it's true. But that's the thing. You have to play it a very specific way. Marathoning it like we usually do, yeah. it gets rough. Yeah. Really long, and it starts getting like... To where it's, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, we're no longer having fun. We want to hurry up and beat the game because that's where the fun is. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness we got, to, okay, we're almost done now. Yeah. But other than that, I definitely think it's worth 12 bucks if you find it complete. Go and pick it up for 12 bucks. Yeah. 